So Scott, this is my light fixture. What do you think? Not bad. You got a light bulb. You got the lamp cord that runs across the ceiling, down the wall, and it looks like that's the switch. Yes, it is. So you have to come in, you have to bend down, turn it on, turn it off, turn it on, turn it off, or you just let the two-year-old do it. Okay. Um, I don't really like it too much. I'll tell you, it's a pulling hazard. They could pull this fixture down pretty easily, and this comes out. Yeah. You can see those two prongs. You can actually get electrocuted right there. So I got something better. I'm going to pull this down, and I'm going to show you. Sounds good. So, Sarah, this is what I'd like to install for you. It's a hardwired fixture mounted right where the other fixture was that we can control from a wall switch over there. That sounds great. All but right. it's so thin. Where's the light bulb? It is thin. It's really thin. And there is no light bulb. We have light emitting diodes. And each one of these little LEDs gives off light. They're really bright. And combined, they all only use 18 watts of electricity, which isn't a lot of electricity for the amount of light that it puts out. I love it. How do we get it up? Well, first thing we need to do is install this fixture box, and it goes mounted into the ceiling. And I'm going to trace it out, and then we'll cut it. Now we need to get a location for your switch. What I was thinking was over here on this wall right here. That would be perfect because then we can turn the light on when we come in the back door. Great. So we need to get the location. The centering is right to left in this space here. You got two feet. Right around one foot should be good. Now what about height? Height is 48 inches to center. So we'll go right from the floor. And that's 48. Trace the box and cut it out. So there's two spots we can get power from, the main electrical panel, or I have found a box over here that has power in it. And we can come out of this junction box, go over up to the light switch. From the light switch box, we can come back down, go across the ceiling, and go right up to the light fixture itself. That sounds great. All right. We're through. Now, I need to send this fish tape up to you. Look for it and pull it up. Okay. Got it. So we have two wires. The first wire is the power wire that comes from the junction box. The second wire comes from the switch back down. It's going to go over to the light fixture. We need to tie these onto the fish tape, and then we're going to pull those up to the new location of the switch box itself. Oh, got it. All right, pull about a foot or two out. Oh, that's great. So we have a switch that we're going to use. It's a regular toggle switch. The power comes in on one of the screws and goes out to the light fixture on the other screw. It doesn't matter which way it goes. I've brought this cutaway. I'll show you how it works. You can see that when the switch is in the up position on, the power goes from one side to the other. But when you shut the switch in the off position, it breaks the connection, and no longer does power go from one screw to the other. That's very cool. And then when we turn it on again, it makes the connection up. Now nothing's actually holding the box in right now. If you just pull on it, it'll come out. So they have these Madison bars to hold the box in against the wall. There's a long side and a short side. You put the long side in first, and then you usually take a screwdriver, push it in. And then make sure it's behind the drywall. Okay. Pull back on it. And then you just take it and fold it over against the wall. And then you finish it off with your pliers. 
to make sure it stays in there. You want to try one? Yeah. All right. All right. So long side first. Yep. Good. And now take the pliers and the screwdriver. Okay. And just tap it in. Now push it all the way through. Hold on to it. You made it look easy. Good. And now even it in the box and pull back on it. There you go. Very nice. And now we'll go ahead and squeeze it with the pliers. Good. Nice. Give the bottom one a squeeze. Good. Now pull the wires. Solid, right? Doesn't move. Good. Let's get the switch in. Okay. So the neutral is unswitched and we just splice the two neutral wires together. Now I can attach the black wires and the ground to the switch. And now the plate, which covers everything. All right, let's get the wire over to the fixture now. Great. I run my fish tape across the ceiling from the fixture location to a temporary access hole at the top of the wall. All right, there it is right there. So let me grab it. We'll pull it right out here. Then downstairs, I can push my fish tape up the wall to that same access point. You gotta pull it all up. So keep the tape nice and short, and that'll make it go around nice and tight. Okay. Now we can just feed that wire right across the ceiling. All right, now we're ready to make up the box for our fixture. So I'm gonna use Madison bars, just like I did on the wall box, because the fixture only weighs about two pounds. Every LED light has a driver, and that driver converts regular house power to low voltage. Now the glass shade, it's just held in with some set screws. All right, we've got the wall patched and the power turned back on. Go hit the light switch. Okay. I love it, it looks so much better than that light before. And look, there's nothing hanging, I can walk underneath it. It makes the room actually feel bigger. Mm -hmm.